The Tutor Training Project began 12 months ago when Real Time Music was awarded funding from the Fair Share Panel in the Brannock area. The specific outcomes of the project were to train 10 young people from the Brannock area to become youth music tutors and deliver a series of music workshops for local young people. Just before the project started, youth surveys in the Brannock area led by Community Learning and Development showed that young people felt there was nothing for them in the area. This was confirmed by a study of provision by the Brannock Area Fair Share Panel, which concluded that the only youth project in the area was real-time music and felt that it delivered a much-needed service to local young people. The project was delivered in stages. The first stage of the process was the design stage. Project manager Ryan Curry and tutor training coordinators Martin Kirkoran and Scott Brazil created a training programme, which was designed to be fun, informative, informal and interesting. Combined, they had over 30 years of tutoring experience and believed it was best to share their experiences and explain to the tutors the benefits of becoming a music tutor. The team believed that good tutor practice can be broken down into four P's. Preparation, people skills, procedures and playing. After recruiting our tutor trainees, the training stage was introduced. We delivered the training over three three-hour sessions in real-time music's recording studio. On the final evening, the trainees were subject to real workshops, where a local youth group were invited to take part in a one-hour music workshop. This enabled the tutors to become familiar with the tutoring environment, and local young people received a free music workshop. After the training was complete, each tutor was required to partake in a six-hour voluntary placement before any tutor work became paid. The last stage was the delivery stage. This involved our trained tutors delivering various workshops to organisations in the Brannock area. The first of these workshops involved us working with community learning and development. We delivered a five-day workshop at their Hollytown Summer Club, working towards recording Rockstar by Nickelback. The workshop was a complete success and as a result, we worked in conjunction with Community Learning and Development a further two times throughout the project. The second project was with their Friday night youth club for boys, aged between 12 and 16. They expressed a great desire to work on some DJ skills. So over the course of six weeks, they honed their DJ skills, working towards a trip to Lanarkshire's biggest nightclub, where they were given the opportunity to use professional DJ equipment and lighting. The third and final project with Community Learning and Development is working with their Monday Night Youth Club for Younger Kids. They work towards recording Pink So What and throughout the project express fantastic enthusiasm for music and performing. We delivered two workshops for Brannock High School, the first of which was a transition programme that helps the young people who are making the move from primary school to high school. This was a one-day event which ran over seven hours. They had a choice of several different workshops from making their own news programme to recording their favourite song. The second Brannock workshop was with the XL group within the school. We delivered six weeks worth of workshops where they learned their instruments basically from scratch and recorded Human by the Killers. We also worked in partnership with another local high school, Taylor High, where we delivered similar workshops to Brannock. We did a transition programme and worked with their XL group. Their XL group chose the song Angel in the Night by Bass Hunter. They decided to run a story theme throughout the video where they scripted and performed the story of a lonely guy who meets his angel in the night. The last of the workshops were delivered in partnership with the YMCA. This was more of a drop-in group where all of the kids possess fantastic musical skills from the beginning. As a result, they decided to concentrate quite heavily on a themed music video. They decided to record Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. 
On the whole, the project has been a complete success from Real Time Music's point of view. Twelve months ago, we set out to train ten young people to deliver five workshops, working with two local agencies in the process. However, twelve months down the line, we have trained twenty tutors who have delivered eight workshops and worked with four local agencies. For many years, Real Time Music has attracted a number of talented young people through various projects and this project has enabled us to take their involvement with Real Time one step further.